I'll start with this. 16 first team injuries. Chaloba, Gilchrist, and Badiashili as centre back. With Kukurela playing inverted role. And you still lost. You let Jackson score on you. You were rubbish. And how many injuries did you have? How many injuries? How many injuries? One. And from your first starting team, apart from it was Werner, and then it was who else? Your left back, Ndogi. And you still lost. Shame! For shame. <sighs> um, welcome back, guys. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Demi. I'm here with the general overseer. Ah, Eddie. You know me. You know my take. <laughs> Just say what you want to say, man. I'm, I'm not even in the mood. Ah, about Spurs. Just say what you want to say. About Spurs, like. Like, like <clears throat> do you want to talk about the match? Like, or what do you want to talk about? Like, they. Okay, you know what? I'll start with this. 16 first team injuries. Chaloba, Gilchrist, and Badiashili as centre back. With Kukurela playing inverted role. And you still lost. You let Jackson score on you. You were rubbish. And how many injuries did you have? How many injuries? How many injuries? One. And from your first starting team. Apart from it was Werner, and then it was who else? Your left back, Ndogi. And you still lost. Shame! For shame. You had Vicario. You had Poro. You had ba- your, 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 big, your two centre-backs. Starting centre-backs. These two are the centre-backs they put on the, on the centre-piece. You had Son. You had Kuluzgeski. You had, what's his name? Pru, pru, pru. Richarlison. You had Sa. Was it, was it Sa or Pasuma? I don't know. You had, you brought on Hoiberg. And still... You could not beat a Chelsea team that had academy player playing right centre back, right back wherever he played. But the shit, even when I saw the team, I was like, God, why? I was just, I was just looking. I was just like, Chai, what is going to happen today? And somehow, he played so rubbish that you had your manager shouting at all your players, Hey, stop fucking playing the back against a Chelsea team like that. Chai, Chai, you even let Moju cook. The person you call Ukraine Bolts. Ukraine Bolts. Eh? What do you have to say for yourself now? Chai! What do you have to say for yourself uh, about that match? Chai! I don't even know what to say, man. I don't know what you can say. To be honest. Spurs have just pinned me the last couple of weeks, man. I don't, I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. Like... Who was it we played? Arsenal game. The Arsenal game pissed me off because that was pure robbery. They can say what they want to say, but we should have got a penalty. That goal wasn't offside. Yeah. At the end of the day, the of the day like, look, we still went in the first half losing Trina. So, and then oh, Newcastle as well. We got mm, matched by them 4-0. For oh, the yeah. first time, was that back to, was that highly back-to-back-to-back to back to back matches? Yeah, Arsenal, Chelsea, and... For the we, first time, I'm actually, like, just speechless. I don't even know what to say, man. And like, you know, when it comes to the summer, who are you going to buy? Me? There's only three players I want. Eze, Onana, and Ivan Tony. Okay, so let's just say and then. Mm. Who do you think he's going to want to get? Or who do you think he's going to like try and get? He's going to try to get the players that play the type of football he wants. Okay. And to be honest, in my opinion, that is... Players who don't like passing the ball backwards, I want to just play forward. That's why I said Eze, Onana. Onana, for the more the sense of the protection for the back line, because that crazy high line he likes playing at times. To have someone basically like, because you know he likes pushing everybody up. So let's say he put everybody up, but there's someone there to kind of help the defense. Yeah. Well, the thing is, right? If, like, obviously he doesn't like people playing it backwards, whatever. But the sign is like he doesn't look like the type of player that's gonna spend like 60, 70 million on a player. Well, he has to. This is this, this this on a player. Like I don't this, think he likes that. So that, I'm just sorry. thinking like, what is your? Bu- you probably have a good. You have a good budget. I know. Probably I think, have. We have a good budget, but the problem isn't the budget. The problem is 
that um man this person just stressed me out man i think i think um son is tired yeah I think, I, think, I think he's. I think he's tired, done as well. But I think son, son, where can son go now? That's my thing. Maybe f- two or three years ago, yes. But now, where is he going to he go? He stayed at Spurs for too long, man. He should have left when Poch left or something. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, because like I don't, I, son. Obviously, he's a good player. But now he's tight. What was he? 31, is he? Well, yeah, 30, 30, 30, 31. 30, 31. Like, you know, he's getting to that age that you need to start looking at MLS and Saudi. Hey, yo. Damn. It's true, man. Rest and then, true. Werner. I don't know if you're even... I don't even know if you're going to buy him or not. No, no, no. They shouldn't buy him. They should just let him go back and just get some... Dang, Cruz Gesky hasn't been fantastic either. And Madison hasn't been great either. Madison hasn't been great ever since that injury. Yeah, that and then like Busuma has fell off since the start of the season. Yeah, he fell off, boy. He's been playing. He's been good. Look, yeah, we're gonna take out these sunglasses. I don't need to shade. Be I don't need to be shaved. I don't need to be shameless anymore. Look, my problem with everything that's been happening is there's a degree of blame I can put on a player, mm. but then Postacoglu has to or and whatever has to kind of look and say, okay, this team. Are not doing good. Just not that they're doing bad. When the when the football works, it works. But when it's not working, I it's not about have even having a plan B. It's like, okay, let's just sit back ten yards mm. or just a bit so I can get a bit more control of the game. But this whole is high line a high line or no high line or no line. Yeah, it's but just, yes, yeah, again, like I think some players need to take like responsibility as well. Yeah, but okay. Yes, there's responsibility on players like Emerson Royale and everyone to see my Spurs t-shirt again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, it's just, I know the guys tried his best and all this, but Tottenham isn't the team for him. No. There's a, le- just, there's a level of, there's a level of responsibility I can put on the player. Mm. But then it has to get to the point that's just like, okay, for example, we played Burnley yesterday. The high line thing started becoming a problem again. What did he do? Smart decision. He took, um, what's this one of? Do you know how, anyways, don't, don't let me, don't let me go around in circles. So he took, um, you know that Emerson Royal played so bad against Liverpool, he put a midfielder left yeah, back. Yeah, he put Oliver Skip, no? Oliver Skip, a, a midfielder, a left back. Do you know how, you know how bad, I mean bad, a player has to be playing for a manager to turn around and say, I'm going to put you left back. It's, that's, that's worse than bad. Like, that's, that's like, I have to leave in the summer. Yeah, like, I don't see, I don't see, I miss Real shouldn't have never been bought in the first place. I mean, you know, apparently Barcelona couldn't even believe Spurs offered them that money. Apparently, yeah, it's true. Apparently it's, they were like twenty. How can I like? What type of red flag don't take football clubs see when a, t- a team buys somebody for twenty five point eight million a month after he signed, and they, they literally just say yes immediately? Mm. Do you know how? Oh my god! And to be honest, I even thought that sometimes Spurs are actually intelligent with their money, no? Apparently, Danny Davis meant to be intelligent with his money, but I don't know how many drinks he was having the night he thought he wanted to buy them so well. But that's, that's not my problem. My problem is, yes, there's players. But there has to be a level where, for example, everybody on Twitter and everywhere I was on was crying out, we have another centre-back there in Dragerson. Play Poro, um, Romero, Dragerson, Dragerson and, and Van Deveen, Deveen left-back. Yeah, fair enough, he's not a left-back. We all understand. But at the end of the day, he has the pace and the strength. Mm. That, like, I don't even care about anything else. For everybody was crying. Emerson Royal played shit the first game, second game. He took on to the Liverpool game to to Harry Wilson turned him inside out to Salah. To Salah was doing training routine with him. For you to realize, nah, I can't play. Him. You bought Oliver Skip on for the last fifteen minutes in Liverpool match as a left back, and he played better than Emerson Royal has played all this season. Are you are you okay? Like where does where like I don't know. Maybe that was the match. It was just like okay, you 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 you're just not part of my plans anymore. Mm. But. Why does it take, it shouldn't be taking two to three games for you to be realizing that this guy is not good enough to play left back. Yeah, but like, it, it's like, I don't, it's like coaches, like some, some of them are smart, right? You can't go back. What is it back to back to, is it four losses? Like, yeah, four losses. Four losses in a row, right? No, it was Newcastle, I think, I think it was, wait. New- I know, I know Arsenal, Liverpool and Chelsea was definitely all so in a row. So we at least I think Newcastle, three. no, I think Newcastle was in a row. So it was, it was four, four in a row. It was four in a row. Surely, like, I, I think the one change he made against Chelsea, he put Kulusevsky 10, I'm pretty sure. Like, I know sometimes you need to change it. But I don't even think it's your midfield or your attack, really. 
Because the way you get counter attack, it's so easy to counter attack you. I I just think I don't know what you can you can do to change because you can't afford you can't lose two games. You have to win your well. You're probably not going to be City to be. No, clear. we are. Look, there's not that we probably we can't. Regardless of what anybody says, people will say like, "Oh, you shouldn't be throwing away a match and all this." Mm. You should throw away that City match, right? We are throw away that City match. We, people need, yeah, it was it was yeah it was four 0 to Newcastle, three two three two, exactly. three, two to Arsenal, two 0 to Chelsea, and four two to Liverpool. Jesus, I don't know, how many like, goals is that conceded? And how many goals uh, is that that's, scored? Um, seven, eight. Wait, sorry, my math is off here. I think 13 goals, they said. He has seven, so seven between them two. Yeah, it's 13. He has 13 goals. So 13 goals conceded, four goals scored, four goals right? Goals scored. Chai. The problem I end up, what's scaring me the most is that, and I think it's it's hard to do, but at the same time, Spurs have to, you have to get players who are old, who are good enough to play, but sit on the bench. Yeah. Unfortunately. But that's what I see. I see Brendan Pep. Johnson as. Who, Brent Johnson? Yeah. That one has been giving me a headache a bit lately. Yeah, but I, t- I thought it was... G- I thought he's good, like... Yeah, the thing about Brent Johnson, I was not on the first. I was like, okay, this guy's a baller, but mm. he's, he's going to spread. He's like, he's, he's like, like... he's not bad, but like, bad, I don't think not, he can he's sit. He's great. able to sit on the bench, like... Mm. Yeah, he's good. I genuinely... Like, I believe, personally, we need a new left... We need two new... We need two... We need two new centre-backs. That's why I don't understand the whole dead dead spent saga. Just <laughs> the, the guy would have been the perfect. And I Wait, mean, did the, you say two new centre backs? No, we need I'm um, sorry, two new full backs. What I meant to say, I don't understand why they ever let dead spent dip to. Like, I, I, it's maybe well, probably I just an attitude problem. The dead spent thing is apparently an attitude issue, but like he would have been the perfect replacement for Paul, not Paul when oh. and Dougie got injured. Mm. Man, but look, the Spurs thing is the Spurs, Spurs, Spurs are just giving me a headache lately because it's just like Postecoglou, Angel, Angel Times. I'm just like I look, I know what you're trying to do. I understand you have your philosophies. I understand this is your way to do thing. But I'm not even saying change. I'm just saying at times it's more game management. Let me yeah. not even say it's it's um the way he act plays football because I know no one can tell me, no one can say the way uh, what well, Postecoglou's football is scary but in a sense it works because what he's trying to do is working it's just about touching up certain parts mm. he wants to push the he wants to push the game up he wants the team to hold the ball he wants to but his only problem is they don't pass forward they just they still think they're managed by Conte mm. and they need to get that mentality get out, to, out there but it's also, also like a fitness thing as well you you need some rotation because my against us especially you, your team look tired like he looked, he looked like he just played a match the day before. Like, like what? Like I don't know what what happened, but like your fitness levels that game was atrocious. The fact that even even just <laughs> Chelsea bench academy players, every single one of them, and you still. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my god! Because you thought you thought you were gonna win, didn't you? To be honest, yeah, you know the minute we started losing, I was like, God, oh, I said to myself, if like, I just it would just be such and the thing I hate that would just be such a Tottenham thing to go and lose to Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Chelsea, everything is stacked against Chelsea, mm-hmm. but for some stupid reason, we just won't win. I just knew it, man. You know, you know what made my day that day as well. I saw this guy on TikTok. He's a Spurs fan. I think his name is Boris, something like that. He said, "I've never been so confident to beat Chelsea before in my life. I've never been so confident." And then the next one was like, oh, that was a shisha, wasn't it? I was like, <laughs> it was like, see that, see that. I love, I love when them man just show up. Like, you know what I mean? I just love it. It's funny, like, cause it's not, there's not as much Spurs fans on TikTok, but like that guy in particular, I always see him. He's always cooking Chelsea every single time. And then when he had that confidence that, oh, I will beat you, you lost to nil. You didn't even score a goal for shame. <laughs> I know, but the way Poch is now playing, the way Chelsea are playing now, is with Kukurella with him into the middle. It's not bad. Fuck Chelsea. Nah, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I could just fuck Chelsea now. Ah, Spurs. Well, they want to give me a dick. Yay! But, um, oh, guys, anyways, now we started. Welcome back to another episode. Now I got my, I got my, um, Your shade off. My, sh- my shades off. Now, I want to address one thing. 
Oh yeah. my god. And I think you know what I'm about to address. Mm. Oh, this TV's about to go on. No. I don't know. Not today. Oh, you can press this never knew. Um, as for supporters, you people. <laughs> what is your problem? Fucking hell, man. Like <laughs> I I made a I, I look I made a very strong statement the other day when I said um if Arteta doesn't win the league that um Spurs's Poch, when Pochettino was a Spurs versus Arteta now is no difference. A lot of you were saying some braggados bullshit in those comments. You're chatting. What? You're actually chatting rubbish because I I and I and I know what they were doing. I made a statement and they were like, this guy's talking rubbish mm. because Arsenal have challenged for the title twice. Like Spurs haven't challenged for the title twice. Spurs finished in Europe all the time. Poch was there, if mm. I'm correct. Possibly, yeah. And only difference between Spurs and Arsenal in the first five years is that um, I just won the FA Cup. Now, the one thing I'm hating that I'm seeing a lot and Again, hate me. Comment anything you want to comment is. I tell you, got a shit team. I tell this team that he got was a team that finished in the Europa League final just so long ago. So if a team is good enough to finish in the Europa League final, wasn't that the year before he came? No. Yeah, the year before he came, they finished the Europa League final. That's when he lost Chelsea. You know? Yeah. <laughs> How magically is that team shit? If you're good enough to finish in Europa League final, because that was the same time that Spurs um got to the Champions League final. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's how I remember 2019. So my 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 thing for you is lot is like you are saying that oh Arteta got came into a worse team, a manager, and I want you all to make something clear. And I seen someone saying in the comments, a manager who got to spend half a billion in five years compared to a manager who only got to spend 125 million. Like you all need to remember, Spurs fans were even singing, "We got Deli Ali." I just don't think you understand. He only cost five mil. He's better than Ozil. Do you remember how much this man bought Ozil for? Oh, that's a lot of money. 30 or 40 odd million. Yeah, maybe yeah. I mean, maybe it's even more. And when you are saying shit like, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like, no, if you actually look at this statistically, with what Pochettino had, 125 odd million got spent in the last four, five years, six years, compared to what uh, my Teta had, Get spent five hundred plus million. But don't get it twisted as well, though. Arteta hasn't like he. It took him a and he finished team. eight in his first season. Eight, yeah. He finished eight. Eight. Fin- Remember he was seventh back to back. I uh, fin- back to like eight or seventh. Mm. Yeah, and I think he finished sixth after that. No, if was it six? Six. It was because they they missed out on Champions League that year. Yeah, it was just what was it? it was Spurs. I think it was that top four that year was definitely Liverpool. United, Chelsea, and Man City. Yeah. And then I think he and Arsenal. Yeah, they missed out again. Yeah. They missed out again. Then that's and it was they only say. recently that fin- the first time he finished top of Spurs, like in the first six years. Mm. And then he finished top of again. The first time he finished on top of Spurs, guys, you were on top of him for 93% of this. Like, I think you need to understand something. Spurs could have bottled the league. Spurs have bottled loads of chances to win cups and all this. Mm. But I still don't think you, I don't think they actually understand the severity of being on top the league for that long I th- and I think not it's, winning I think it's I think it's the worst bottling job in the history because apparently nobody in the history of the Premier League has ever been on top for that long and not, not won the Prem can you imagine and they have the audacity did you see the thing is like I see you see Arsenal fans it's, like, it's the audacity like your, your comments like ye want, I don't even think ye believe what you were saying like some of their comments were cooked I'm just like I'm just like you know what I would say this now I just want to piss them off even more see Arteta right Are you sure you want to say what you want? I'm going to say it. See, Arteta's first season. Yeah. Right? Even, let's just look at his first, let's three, see when he lost back back to back eight, mm-hmm. right? It was no better than Lampard when he was at his first spell at Chelsea. And I'll tell you why. Let, 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 hear me out, right? Hear me out, right? Nah, even this one. Uh, <laughs> hey! You're no, and something. hear me out, right? You know, you know why I say that? Oh, I... Lampard came in, just youngsters. Ba- on the back of Hazard leaving and Chelsea on the transfer band. Remember that? Oh? And we just had, I think it was Kovacic on loan or something from Real Madrid. And we bought Pulisic like two years before. So he just came that year. The rest of them were academy players. Remember Tammy, Mount, Rich James, 
Hudson Adayu, Tomori, Rudri- and then there was Rudiger, obviously the, the experienced players. And we still got Champions League football that year that Lampard was first spell, right? Mm-hmm. And we got FA Cup final where they screwed us out of that. Remember that match? Mm-hmm. They screwed us out of it, right? So, see Arteta's first two seasons is not comparable to Frank Lampard's first spell. Oh, you got yourself in trouble. Is it? I don't care. And then even Arteta, right? Don't don't get it twisted because it took him time to find players for this team, man. How much did he spend on Nicholas Pepe? 70 mil. 70 mil. And where is Nicholas Pepe now? Oti Lole. And you know what the funny thing is, yeah? Mm. They're saying their team was. I'm looking at Iceland's team when Arteta took over. Arteta took over. So Bert Leno was in goal. Mate, Niles, Mate, Niles, Socrates, Luis, Saka was left back, Torreira and Shaka were made, Nelson, Ozo, Obama, and Lacazette. That isn't the worst. You say team. Ozo, Obama, and Lacazette. Are they sick? Are they, I'm like, that isn't a bad team. Are you sick? Like, like Obama are dead. Foo, 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 foo. Obama was cracking in goals for them. Like. Was, Obama was cooking. So, this is where I get to the point of when I said what I said, it was. I use all thought I was I think see this is why I said they don't think. He's all thought I was saying Ateta was better part of no. What I was saying was that if we look at the both of them for their first five seasons, what they have achieved. In in, in theory, Poch has achieved more than Ateta because if you're telling me that because he won the FA Cup, he's better than and the community season. And the community shit. Well, that's too, I don't count the community shit as a trophy. I never that's have not a trophy. Never, I never have and never will. It's mm. a plate that you can eat off. Mm. Um, <laughs> when you when you want to say that, oh, because he won the FA Cup, it's compared to a manager who fought for the league twice, got to Champions League final. He got to, I think, got to Carabao Cup final. He got to a couple of the semifinals. Mm. But the Champions League final, and it's not like he had the easiest road like you people did. Because I remember how he got Champions League final. That's probably one of the easiest ways to get a Champions League final. And he was lost to a, the, the worst, worst Bayern, Bayern team, team in the last like 20, 20 years. years. Like, I, like, do you know, they, I don't think they're deep. Like, because, you, see, you see, all you, all you Arsenal fans that are commenting in the comments, thank you for all the comments. It was nice. We're all foolish. Every single one of you are foolish. And I'll tell you why. Ye are so cooked. Like, I don't think you understand. Ye said, bring me Bayern. We will, let's, we will beat them. He lost to Bayern. He barely bet Porto. He went into penalties with Porto the round before. And they're supposed to be one of the best teams in the world. The be- I said this to you already, and I've said this on a pod before. The best team in the world don't need three or four positions to win, to win, to go out. Like, they should be, they should just be the best. They need a new striker. I remember I said this to you. Yeah, they, they need a new striker. A new striker. Because Declan Rice has been playing box to box now. So they need a new CDM, a sitter. They need a new left back. Their left back is shit. <laughs> they have a rubbish left back. And I don't know what they have been cooking with left wing this year. But Trossard, okay, he's good. Martinelli has been cooked this season. Cooked. And even, even like, oh my God, when, when Arsenal fans say that Saka is better than Palmer this season, I don't understand it. No, Saka, and Saka's been good this season, but Foden and Palmer have been, it's just been it's, that level. It's, it's a level above them. It's like. not a level above them. Like, it's not even, like Saka is dirty. If I say top three, it's Palmer, Palmer, Foden, and Saka. Mm. Like they, they've been good. Like I'm not gonna say it's been good. Like look, I know, and I see the problem is this is what I love. This is why I love socials. That is kind of going on topics. Mm. I can put a clip there, and everybody wants to judge me for a clip, but nobody actually said like I don't expect if you don't watch the podcast, that's up to you. I don't mm. care. No one actually went to go look after when I said Arsenal have been actually an unbelievable team in the last in the last two years. Mm. But hear me out, two years because three years prior to that, if you're telling me oh. Um, you know we've been we've been rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding. Five six years into the rebuild, you spend half a billion, and we we always cook my United for this. Every day we cook we my still United, cook United, and we still cook United for spending all the money they spent, and they haven't won anything. But in theory, United have won the FA Cup, the Europa League, the Cabara Cup. They've won. They finished second in the league a couple of times. Yeah, Ole. They finished with Ole. Like, how many? Have the United won the FA Cup once or twice? United have actually won a cup like <laughs> some shit. It's just that we we as fans know where my United should be. Yeah, in, they're, in they're, the pe- they're, they're the, the best. Let's just start. They're the biggest club. They're the biggest club in England. The biggest club in England. In England. So we know where should they should be, be. They should be up there at the top. Like let's not let's not be stupid. Yeah, about it. that's the thing. Like that's I think that's where where when we when people slag my United, it's like 
United as a club, we know how big they are. But mm. for you to be as big as a club as that and to be playing as bad as you are now is a major problem. Mm. It's big. But that's the Arsenal thing. I think, I and I still stand on my point, if he doesn't win the league this season, he's no better than a posture. Because like, I think when I, say to, when I said to one of my friends in Arsenal fan, I was like, if you're, so if you're okay with a man spending 500 million euros, 500 million pounds of your money. Does that man, you contribute to that anytime you buy jerseys, all this bullshit, anytime you watch the game, you contribute that thing one way or another. When you are okay with someone spending that money on your football club, you can't even beat the, an absolutely, probably one of the worst performances I've ever seen Bayern play. You can't beat, you barely are beating Porto. You're on top of the league for that long and every time it's like, oh, we need to do this, we need to do that. You have everything now. Okay, other than the left back, cool, calm. But you have everything to win the league and you still can't win the league. <laughs> there has you actually need to look for a second and be like, what is the problem? You've had some of the least injuries this season. They don't I don't think they've had any like You've had they've had barely any injuries this season. If yeah. anything, it's only Saka that I know has been out for a week or two mm. that I remember. Mm. You've scored goals. You've had the best defensive record. You've scored the most goals this season. You've had the best defensive record. And you still don't win that league. So have in mind, in the last two years, first of all, you've been on the league for the longest amount of period ever in the history. The longest period ever in the history of football not winning the league. Mm. Now you're going to have the best defensive record and the best goal scoring goal scored, yeah. record of the season. And you still aren't going to win the league. But there's still a rebuild with Arteta. Like now, now guys cop on. It makes sense. Like there's, a, there's a bit, there's a, there has to be a level of, okay, I tell it's taking us this far, and I feel like this is how far. Because let's say, for example, right, hypothetically speaking, and gets all the players he wants and plays for playing football he wants. Poch comes in now, is the over 20s. We know the over 25 rule is going, the under 25 rule is going, gets that experience in. And these men start fighting for the league. I didn't, are you now still going? I, what's, the, what's the next excuse? What is the next excuse? And like, here, that, like, do you want to talk about them? What is going to be the next excuse? Uh, they, don't, they, every, can, every, they can't have one. Though. Every year is going to keep being an excuse because it's going to mm. be like, oh, we're into our rebuild. Mm. But this guy came from Scotland. These were all cooking him last season, but he's all don't actually remember. Man, I only realized there, and just won the most points in like his first season as a. I think they said and just won the first. The I just got the most points in the first season as a manager between all. Is it in the history? In, I don't know. They said they said he's got the most points in his first season. Mm. So like as when the manager came as well, between like when I said they came and all these people came, yeah. he's got the most points. And I'm here looking. Okay, people are saying this guy's bad, but this guy lost. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I still find talk about. They talk, I don't think they actually still sometimes look at the situation. Tottenham lost the best striker in English football for a very long time on the on the last day of the transfer window. And they want to be cooking Ange. And that's the thing. They're all like, are they all trying to say, oh, Ange, Ange, you know what you still want Ange there? I'm like, do you man not just remember that was it not just not five not just not so long ago that your manager finished eight? This guy is gonna get Europa League position in his first season. Coming to a team that lost their best striker, coming to a team that change, 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 has had to change, has had to go from a team that were playing counter-attacking defensive football brilliantly possession to turn mm. them into a team that uh, that had the most possession this yeah. whole season. Mm. So, like, I'm like, you're all cooking Ange. And I get it. People, I know, and I understand the frustration of Ange Postcode because sometimes it's like game management. I don't even think he's a bad manager. It's just game management. There's just times, there's just a time and a place to do that, but there's then a time and a place to be like, okay, fuck what I want to do. Just mm. step back 10 yards. Yeah. But now y'all trying to and things and, and like leave the guy alone. The guy has literally had to come in, and what like he's just had to do what he ha- he's what he's got to do with. He hasn't had a full like really speaking. He's had to come into a team, and he's had to change the whole culture, the whole philosophy, whole philosophy of football club, everything about. And like I mean, people are slagging. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. This guy actually might get a Europa League spot. He's gonna have another transfer window. He's probably going to kick out a lot of football players. That, that, a that lot looks of people are going to lose that season. So let's actually give him one more season. Because if this guy now goes on and wins an FA Cup, mm. like he starts winning the domestic league, fights for the Premier League, I don't even want to hear them, bro. Because what I, I can't talk anymore. What I will say next season, they, they will be worse. It will be, be worse. What I'll say next season, but look. 
That's my rant about Ange vs Gogol is that I know obviously look, Spurs have done bad in the last couple of games, mm. but it's just like the guy has just came into the club in his first season. He's gonna get the team in the Europa League position, looking like it. Um, but yeah, man, look, sorry guys, I, sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I just get irritated with Arsenal supporters because like it's not, and I, I understand you're seeing your team get back to the position they were, and you know being as good as you want, you expect them to be for the last x amount of years mm. but there's a, you you actually have to look like this took this guy five years to do this and there's a manager at tottenham now that got them a rope league position in their first season like you're cooking him because yeah he's lost a few he's a he's had a bad run of games if i pull up at Teta's last 10 games now i promise you um no and maybe i'll do for them i'll just you know put a little cut mm. here and show them mm. You know, get the guy. If this was two or three years into the project and he was still doing this rubbish, I'd say, yeah, look, slag him. Oh, the guy's only there for a year. Anyways, sorry, my rant is over. What I wanted to talk about, actually, was... I think we're going to talk about the same thing, Tim. What do you want to talk about? 4 0. Well, I was going to leave that to what, last. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about Champions League. Yes! You thieves! UEFA! Champions League! Thieves! Oh, Lenny Boboin! I've never seen. I've seen bad decisions. They look like this decision has to be on par with that Liverpool's decision against Spurs. Hundred percent. Because the thing is, right? Like, I don't, I don't think. He, first of all, I don't know what the lineup was looking at because he wasn't off at first. He, he didn't even look off. He was in line with the fucking defender. You know, apparently, he apologized. Huh? Apparently, he apologized. He the, I don't care. I actually don't care. I would have rather because Real Madrid, right? See, what my best mate, right, Michael? He's a Real Madrid fan. Mm. Cool guy, right? I told him I hate Real Madrid just because you know because you know Halal Madrid you know I like their players some of their players right I like the players but that team has to be you know I, you can't say it's look anymore because they do it all the time they always go in the last minute you can't say it's look anymore it's just how they're built but I'm sorry every single fucking time let somebody else win this Champions League please and you know apparently every time they got to the final they never lost they're not bro they're not gonna lose to Damn Dortmund now Huh? Them and Barcelona never lost in the it's Champions rough. League. I know they're not going to lose the Bar- Let's be real. Dortmund, like, don't, come on. You never know. Don't, don't. Man, I know any anything is possible in, in football. Yeah, I understand. That is not possible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry. Don't, it's not don't, possible. Don't, don't say it's Chai, not possible. Man, okay. You know, it's a 95% chance that Real Madrid are going to win that final. Yeah, I think it's a 80% chance. Brother. Brother. I, I understand where everybody's coming from, but this is football. I am no, I'm honestly sick to death seeing Real Madrid keep doing this. I swear yeah, but, this is, is, but this thing is, this is this is what I mean about a team's culture. Mm. Real Madrid's DNA embedded into them is just to win. Mm-hmm. Is win, 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 win. And the thing is, they don't even have tactics. They just play football. But that's what Ancelotti said. Mm. Ancelotti says that there's a time to have tactics and there's a time to let players do what they want to do. Mm. And that's why and so is the best. That's you see, I feel like there's a freedom that he wants to give to his players. Mm. It's like I let Vinny, I let Bellingham, I let um Rodrigo they do what they want to do. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you scout with those players because you've seen there was some something in them that can help this team succeed. Mm. So this is the problem that I have. Bring I understand Pep's that's why I feel like sometimes the players Pep buy, I don't like I don't understand why he bought Doku. Doku is not a pep player in my eyes. No nah, chance, no, no. He's more of a, he's more of actually a postical glue, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a club, maybe even a Teta type player. Like I don't understand because see, because everyone like what Pep does with all these players, he makes them robotic. They have they follow. There's a set thing you must do. There's a set way you have to do it, and they, you do it this way or you don't do anything at all. <laughs> it's true though, it's bro. True. Like. When you get pepper fired, you're not the same player you came in. <laughs> pepper fired. You, when you get pepper fired, right? You're not the same player you came in. Like, Pip Grealish before he joined Man City. Different player. <laughs> After I got pepper fired, robotic. Does the same do you thing. Think, do you think Pep... This is actually... This is a question. And look, mm. I, people made it this far. Thanks for watching. Mm. Do you think Pep, in a way, ruined some players' qualities in certain aspects. Because why, why, now listen to why I'm saying this. Because you have players like Doku and Grealish. Mm. We know what they were like. We, mm. They take players on, they zigzag, they go. But it's like, when they're playing for Pep, they're playing good football, but it's just like, it's so robotic. It's, no it's fun like, like, that's not you. Mm. Other than KDB and Haaland, I can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. Like, I mean, anybody, 
What? Even phone as well. I put the, I, Actually, the, even phone is now more robotic as well. Like. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's just like the way they're playing. It's just like, I know if you were another football club, you would not be playing. Especially Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish always used to carry the ball forward, trying to take took, people. I would have took Grealish out of Chelsea, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would have took him there. To be fair, Grealish, I think anybody would have taken him. I would have took, bro, from, from Aston Villa, it's just that, that no one was crazy enough to pay that 100 million. You know what's pitting me the most? You know those, like, was it years and years ago? Mm. So, you know, Grealish, Spurs were meant to buy him and they wouldn't pay like an extra 5 million. Yeah, it was, it was like 25 lockdown. million. It was like 25 million. That they, 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 they were talking about to say 20 million and they wanted 25 million. What's up, season before lockdown? No, no, no. It was well before. Well before it was, that. It was well it? before. He's saying it was Grealish and Madison. They had a chance to buy him for dirt cheap. And they said, no. Danny Levy's a crook. I keep telling people yeah, this. Like, but, um, no, but, um, Pep, no. Yeah, Pep, like. Do you think he takes some qualities out of football players? Like, See, the thing is, because I still saw the quality from of Myers at Leicester and Myers at City. Mm. I don't think there was a, much of a comparison. Like, I think they were the same, kind of the same, mm. same player. Aguero, I didn't really see him before he came to City, so I can't really tell. But, like. The, the prime examples really, really are Doku and Grealish. They can be way better than what they are yeah, now. They're just, they're, just, they're just always playing the ball back, you know? Yeah, Doku takes someone on and then come back. I'm like, nah, I know you want I know you want to take him on. Yeah, I know you want to, want to mm. you know, I'm just like... You want more from that? You like, want, I want more from you. Like, I know Jack Grealish is so much more better than he's playing. And it's just I, th- I even think, what's his name? Alvarez. I think he's way better than what you... Because you see that, the, that brother at World Cup, like, come on. I, I think I think Alvarez needs to go on a, like a long term loan, like a two year loan somewhere. Then he comes back to see the improve. Because I don't know, I genuinely don't know why they like. I know Haaland is Haaland, but I think Alvarez could have. Alvarez is a starting striker. He's a starting striker. Like all this, like I, like there's no there's no question about. It. Like, I don't. I just feel sorry for him. Uh, um, see you sometimes. I'm just like he's just, he just suffering. Just like, like if you want to come Spurs, like bro, like I don't. I think any him. any club in the Premier League would take him. I don't know why they don't go for him. But I think at the same time, it's City know that they're not going to have a backup striker if he goes. Mm. And Alan has been showing us that he's getting injured now and again. Yeah, but even like... Just, I want to ask him about Aaron Haaland, which is has been kind of on my mind lately. Isn't it interesting that people are saying Haaland hasn't had a good season, but he might win... But that is 25 goals in uh, this game. See, because he's, he's... People are lost, you know. Do you think he just set the bat too high for himself? Hundred percent. Like, what, what was? How many goals he scored last season? So close goals last season, bro. Twenty five, and he's <laughs> he's top of the fucking chart. Like. And people are still saying he's not having a good season. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I don't know what your definition of good, good season, season is. I'm, I'm like, sorry. When a player, is when scored. somebody scores twenty five block clock goals, now. <laughs> and he's been injured a couple and of times. Injured time. for most of the time. And he's not for <laughs> You know, I, I that's the time I was like, ah, Kupama might actually win this goal. Book. What does Halim want? You're going to go and score four goals, man. I was <laughs> fucking pissed. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, what, do you, what do you want me to do? But like, nah, he's not having a bad season. Like, okay, maybe he's he's not playing as good as he did last year. What, what, do, what, do, like, what do people expect? Like, what, I, that? what do you people expect? Like, the guy is like, when people say, oh, Halim's not that good, you know, this, and I'm like, do you people understand? A player scored 50 goals in his first season. 50 goals. He didn't score like three hat tricks in a row or something. Brother. Like that. His first season. And then he comes again. He's been injured a couple of He was injured a good time. He's a good four, bit of he? time, yeah. And he still scored 25 goals in the season. People want to say, yeah, like, I think I lost, man. They're actually lost. And I, I know some of these actual fans is what I'm saying. Some of your players that can't even hit double digits at. You reminded me. What? You reminded me. I wanted to talk about somebody. Who? And I want to apologize to somebody as well. Who? Nicholas Jackson. I want to apologize to him. For what? Because he has now more goals than Havertz, Hoyland. And what's who's the other person's game? There's one more striker. There's one more striker. There was... Oh, my God. Who is the person? Havertz, Hoyland... Her, oh. Is it a Liverpool player? Nunes. Oh. How much did we buy Nicholas Jack? He's... That, just remind, remember this, right? I've seen Arsenal fans call this guy a flop, right? This flop has 13 goals in, the, in his very first season. This is not Harvard's first season in the Prem, by the way. By the way, he's third. So he should be scoring way more, shouldn't he? Am I mm-hmm. wrong? You're not lying, no. Hoyland was, was the messiah for United. Because, because we're going to talk about United soon. I'm excited to talk about United as well. Hoyland was the messiah, I be for United. 
70 odd million young player who's coming in, right? The guy has eight goals. Chill out. Well done. Nunes. Nunes, Nunes, that was. Uh, has, uh, apparently, he has the worst conversion rate as a striker in the Premier League. Bruv, he has 11 goals, I think. So, I want to apologize, Nick Lashley, because I said that he makes me want to think that I can be a footballer. I take it back. But, Anthony, I don't take that one back. But as for Jackson, I take. I'm so sorry. If you ever see this, you probably won't. But I'm so sorry. Next, just stick to football. Don't be Idi and and Yanshi again, please. Idi and Oyo. Idi and Oyo, yes, exactly. <laughs> now, um, Manchester United. Oh, <laughs> see that football club, yeah. It's it actually is a. It's sad to see how bad my United are doing. At yeah, time. that's true. It was just like you were a team that back in the he, day. Dominate everybody, everybody everybody was afraid to step into the theater of dreams and actually do you think that they should sack Tan Hag yeah. I think they should who's, and you, I know who you think they, they Tuchel. should Tuchel yeah I think they need to sack Ten Hag because not even because the, I like we know Ten Hag is a good manager this is a manager that has made semi-finals of mm. Champions League twice he's done great things when he was at Ajax but there's just it seems like there's just too much bad energy around my him and my United. Yeah. And I feel like there is so much more problems at my United that... Out of his control as well. That's out of his control and we don't know about mm. that if he stays, it's going to get worse. Like the central situation, you, you got rid of a player who you said wasn't good enough, who has made a Champions League final. Can you imagine? See how ironic that like, is? You, like, hey, you people as well. <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But, um... Just obviously, it's not like the Sancho situation. Yeah. Saying Sancho's not good enough, sending him to do training, all this rubbish. And now he's made it. It's not like he's been a vital part to this team making the Champions League final. It's not like he just went there and sit on the bench and we just say, no, 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 no. He's been a, probably one of the best players. So there has to be a question there of who is the problem. And I think it's not, I, I don't even think it's just Tan Hai because oh, the whole club is fucked. The whole club is fucked, but I think it's even. It's it's the players and then Tan Hag and then the club. Maybe yeah. if you could, you could even switch the club and Tan Hag because the players, man, they are. I've never seen a bunch of lads get paid that much money and just not give a you, shit. You know what? It's not even about my United. Is a confusing situation. The, the whole man, my United as a whole club is confusing me. Mm. You're playing players, stupid amounts of money. Mm. Well, your facilities are apparently not even up to standard. Can you imagine? Like, it's the uh, club is apparently the stadium is falling apart. Mm. But then you're hearing the players getting three hundred fifty k a week to come and play nonsense football. Seriously, I, I, and I just look at you. I'm just like, when the environment is looking like shit, what do you expect the players to do? Or how do you expect the players to act? Because obviously, good environment. Like if you're in a good environment, everything is. Like, you know, now nah, it's going well. Mm. Obviously, there's going to be good morale. But when apparently Ronaldo's coming saying that when he left my United back then, this is the same way it is now. That is fucking disgusting, by the way. That's actually massive. Radcliffe. Radcliffe is even saying like you know, my United um his facility is not up to standard. It's rubbish. Apparently, Radcliffe is fighting with all the United um all the United employees saying that you all have to come home. You can't work from home anymore. Mm. Right. Like yeah, there's just so much going on in that club that. See, because like, <sighs> chai, like I don't know because even the signings that Tanag made, some of it is not his fault because no, the Anthony th- thing is his fault. That one I don't. Anthony, understand. get Anthony. I'm telling you, you did not get Anthony. You got Taifik from Mexico. <laughs> there's no, <laughs> there's no way that person is. He's not Brazilian. He's a fake. <laughs> I told. What Sa- did you say? He's got Taifik from Mexico. I think. I think that's the best thing that he does. I told Sam the other day when we were watching the Crystal Palace <laughs> match. I said this is not <laughs> I told Sam that this this is not Casimiro Zambero. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> like you didn't get Onana. You got Onana's cousin. There's this <laughs> there's no way. You didn't buy players. The, these players are fake. There's these players are fake. You haven't got correct people there. I don't know what you did. You didn't get missing mounts. You got mountain. There's no way that. that <laughs> Man, you're gonna make me cry. I'm gonna lie. What time is it? Isn't the like chat United line up out? Yeah. Oh no, no it's now four minutes. minutes. But like, I don't know. See, the thing is, United are 
they're far from being back. They they spent nearly all season ahead of Chelsea. <laughs> I'm so happy to say to the glory of God, with my Chelsea jersey on right now, that Demi would not even touch for some reason. But for the glory of God, Man United are below Chelsea. Giving glory to the Lord. He reigns. Quick question. I'll uh, close this out. The, mm. the train at 405 and 542. Which one do you want to get? I got the 405 one. Uh, what's it called? I wanted to say, actually, I want to talk about this as well. Um, Aston Villa. And the reason why I want to talk about Aston Villa, they're going to be in the, most likely, they're going to be the champion during the Champions League next season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were in Conference League this year. They lost 6-2 again to Olympiacos. Right? I'm just like, I'm just like, then I then I think about some things, right? I, because then I start deepening. They have a chance, right, of playing Real Madrid, Bayern, <laughs> PSG, and they're losing 6-2 on aggregate to Olympiacos. Yeah, but they're going to get money now. Because when you finish Champions League. Yeah, I know that. But then I'm just like, ever since, and it's, this might be a weird thing to say, but ever since, I, still say, I remember I saw Arsenal fans say that, the reason why the Champions League is not talked about anymore because Arsenal are not there anymore. It's a load of bollocks. The reason because the Champions League is not actually yeah what? Wait what? They said that. I remember they said why is no one talking about the Champions League right now? All oh, right, it's because Arsenal are not playing in it or some. It was some ridiculous like that when it was Bayern and Real Madrid. Right? They said no one was talking about it for some reason. That's what it's just one Arsenal fan on TikTok. I, I don't even remember right. But then I'm just like the reason why the Champions League is like that now. It's not because Arsenal are not in it, because no one, no one cares if Arsenal, because you haven't won it before. So <laughs> who cares? Who cares? Who actually gives a shit if you're in it? The reason why they're not, no one cares from the Prem anyway, because United and Chelsea are not in it, and I, that's honestly why I think, because we made it more interesting. Let's be realistic. We made it more interesting. Let's start. Off, see, start off from Frank Lampard. Let's start off from Frank Lampard, right? That match against Ajax, four four. Do you see how entertaining that match was? Did you see Arsenal entertain anyone like that before? You see, everything in Arsenal is even robotic as well. Then you see the champion, how that Champions League run that Chelsea had with Tuchel and Frank Lampard as well. We, we, we bet the odds. We bet Atletico. We bet Porto. We bet Real Madrid. The, the people that, that own that, that own that cup are Man City. Okay, maybe I'll dis- disqualify United for a second now. Just in recent years now. Spurs, right? He did that comeback against Ajax. He got into the final. You've played, you've played Real Madrid. You played Real Madrid before in the Champions League. We, we smoked. That Real was Madrid. in Wembley as well, right? Yes. We, let me just make it clear. We smoked Real Madrid. Exactly right. And that was Real Madrid that had Ronaldo. Exactly. Ronaldo. See, that's what I mean, right? So that you see why I and watch Karim football. Benzema. You see why I watch football, right? It's entertaining. It's fun. I love to watch it. I don't like all this robotic football. Mm. I like goals, fouls. Injuries, whatever, anything that would make me interested. And that's what I got from watching Chelsea and Spurs in the Champions League. But now I'm seeing now I'm seeing Arsenal. Robotic football. Even to be honest, the only reason I watched Arsenal during that Champions League was to see if they would lose. And that's gone on the shit. Yeah, show. that's true. Every, that's I think everyone so and the aunties did that as well. And then they'll be like, oh, we could possibly win. You know, it's 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 just the audacity. That's the thing. It's mm. just like can you not just wait till he's win it before you start saying? And some of them were like, even oh, Bayern are lucky. We even bring Real Madrid, we beat them. I'm sorry, but like, do you understand? I don't think they understand the severity of what you're saying, you know? Because <laughs> imagine, oh. I just, I just, I just th- think in my head, right? Because I still play with Jorginho and Declan Rice mm-hmm. and Odegaard, Nami Food. <laughs> imagine Jorginho trying to mark Bellingham. How can you look me in the eye and say that nonsense? <laughs> Do you know how stup- stupid the statement I said was? Jorginho marking Bellingham. <laughs> then I'm just like, okay, what about if Rodrigo... If, because I know what Real Madrid would do. They will attack that left side because they don't have a left back. Mm. So imagine Vinny and Rodrigo running as in Chenko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, come on. Even the way Carvajal defends, that guy would have pocket whoever was on that left side. The way Mendy was playing, like, especially like, in the last two games in the Champions League there, he would have pocket Saka. I'd be sorry. Because Saka got pocketed by, <laughs> in the second leg, Maserati and Guerrero. <laughs> mm. 
So what you didn't even tell me anything about this asset. That's why I, you see, this is why I like football as well. You see them comments, I fucking love them. I was wake as well now. I saw from from people agreeing with us, from people calling us fucking retards. You know what? You know what people are retired. Mm. People keep always thinking that when Spurs keep saying they went for the league is when there was a Leicester time. Yeah. Mm. We forget the Spurs finished second like when Conte won the league as well. And oh yeah. yeah. Who reminds you that? It was Poch. Well, it was Poch. And then um when we finished when the last we the last of season we didn't even finish second, we finished third because I still finished the most by one point. Mm. So I'm just like you people keep talking, like you don't even know what you're saying at the same time. You just keep talking, talking, talking. Like, and listen, 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 listen. We don't say statements to trend, by the way. Just think. Yeah, that thing is that thing that that's, 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 that's actually what we just think. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you this like you see Sam here and he'll say something stupid. Just don't don't get it twisted. Just, just a spoofer, like Sam, Sam is a spoofer. Chat shit. Sam Sam chat shit like he's chat shit all the time. Sam Sam will tell you that um Sam Sam would genuinely say that um who Sam would say Hoyland Hoyland's probably nearly on the same level as Aguero when he was in the Premier League. Yeah, it's just mean, don't don't mind anything this, Sam this, said. I just find that funny that he said that you know saying this for um clicks. I'm just like, no, if, if I if you if I know you because I if, to be honest, I don't even know you because you have a fake account. But anyways, the fake account, you just keep going commenting. Yeah, honestly. But well, like, um, yeah, look, I, I said what I said that time, guys. And I'm not going to take it back because it is true. Yeah. Like, Arsenal fans, you just can cry, you just can scream, you just can say, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't care. I'm just not in the mood. But guess, you. guess what happened, Arsenal fans? I will still sleep the same way tonight. Ah, it's not even that I'll sleep the same way because if you because don't... Because I don't that, care about your opinion. No, you know, okay, Loki, this is something that needs to be addressed. Mm. You know, if I still don't win that league, oh no, I, I, I would not want to be them. I, I, you know, deep, some, I, well, 10% of me is like, I actually hope they win the league because they absolute the way social media will be for that week it's gonna be so funny. it's gonna be so bad for them mm. first of all i can already see don robbie from dr sports he's finished um ty is finished what's the other guys in the light skin nigga rory talks is finished yeah. um that light skin nigga i know what you're talking about oh. he's finished mm. the guy that said that about my blood cut yeah that uh, guy oh um troops 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 finished, finished. Cause one, because when <laughs> all of them they're finished. finished fully, I think I think it's gonna be so funny. I love I love it though. I just I just want to watch it though. Because you know the min- Tuesday, Tuesday is going to be the decider. I thought the Spurs and um, Spurs and Arsenal game. Tuesday Spurs and Arsenal game was gonna be the biggest um league. Tuesday's game is massive. Yeah, because if they lose that. Does it come down to the final day? Yeah. No. Yeah. It depends on what Arsenal do today. Yeah, because they're Arsenal two is. points. If because they Ars- are two points ahead of Arsenal right now. So, even if Arsenal lose today, mm. they would need Spurs to beat City. And but, I wouldn't Ars- even... but I think, don't say you have a game in hand, no? Chiefs game in hand is on Tuesday. Oh, that's your game in that's hand. Game in hand so, that it. means Arsenal have two games left, right? Yeah, Arsenal have one. The so season's finished next Sunday. Yeah, but they have the one today and then the one next. Oh week. yeah, if we're, talking, if we're talking about today's match, yes. Okay, so but I'm saying on Tuesday after this match. Yeah, they have one game. They left. have one game left. Who are they playing? Um, Everton. Everton. Everton got to do something for us. <laughs> Man City though, who's their last two games? Spurs and West Ham. I remember it was West Ham. West Ham away. It was West Ham home. So the thing is, right? Do you see what I I wanted to go to the last day because I want Aston fans to get excited to lose. <laughs> <laughs> that woke me up. I want Arsenal fans to get excited. Too. Because nah, that's, that's evil. That's evil, brother. No, because remember when City were two 0 down against Aston Villa? Oh, they came back four two. And then they came back that time when Gundo decided to become a mad person. But like a match like that, I need a repeat. <laughs> oh no, let me, let me see. But no, um, look, yeah, what time is it? Twelve. But like. Yeah, no, I do, I do. I don't, I don't want them to win, but we'll see what happens. One mm. thing I want to talk about is, have you, obviously, you seen already yourself that um, Mbappe is leaving. Yeah, he finally said it. Where do you think he's gonna go? Well, if he doesn't, he's a crook. If he doesn't go to Real Madrid, I'll be so real. If he goes to Barcelona, I think it'd be the funniest transfer story of all time. I won't go to Barcelona. I know, but I said, yeah, it will be funny. Even like Figo. Remember when Figo went from Barca to Real Madrid? It'd be like something like that. But um, I think he will go to Real Madrid. 
I think he's scared of the Premier League. Honestly, I don't blame them. A lot of them are probably scared of the league, to be honest. Yeah, but I think because if you go to Premier, I think there's a lot of scrutiny that come behind, especially with what team you pick. Pick as well. If you pick, if if he ever went, let's say if he went to Arsenal mm-hmm. and he didn't perform, let's say one game, the scrutiny that he will get, not just from the fans, like, but but the pundits are very very critical. People like, that's why it's hard. That's why the people. That's probably why people don't come to the Prem, because of the scrutiny that happens behind the book. <sighs> honestly, Man United is fire. Let me, what's Let me check the lineup too. Doesn't look good, bro. Onana, Dalo right back, Casemiro, Johnny Evans, Wambasaka, midfield. He has Mino and Amrabat, Amatomine, and then Diallo, Garnacho, and Hoyland. Fernandez isn't playing. Oh. Let me see how it's not lined up. Look at it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is wrong with United? Like, what kind of well, team is this? You know the funny thing is, yeah, it will be such a United thing to win. God knows, this is so true. Such a United thing to go out and win. Well, I you know, you know, McTominay was just crashing two headers now. I know. God knows, it's but, just um, the type of thing. Oh, rubbish. But um, no, guys, look, I I don't know. We are extremely tired today. But I said we have to get an episode out. Fully. Um, West Brom and Southampton are still drawn. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Championship player was going to be interesting as well. Yeah. Uh, gonna... Oh, my dear. But, um, guys, look. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Thank you for getting this fact. We've made this fact. Look, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. And you people in the comments. Continue. Please Listen. continue. I actually want you to continue. I think I love watching. I love, I love seeing it. It's funny. Like, I don't, like, I'm not going to lie. I don't even need to talk to you people on social media, but let me explain how it works. We post something that's controversial. You people comment. The algorithm says that's engagement. When you engage with that thing, it spits out to more people. So if you want us to not be getting good engagement, stop commenting. Mm-hmm. Just walk past. If you want to say what you want to say, whether it's good or bad, just know that the algorithm is going to be like, oh, this person commented on this. Let me post that to more people. Especially you Arsenal fans. Anyways... Sunday, the next end of the season is coming. What will what how this podcast will be in the next time we record will either be us just being like fuck or this will just, the next episode will just be us cooking Arsenal. Cooking, not shutting up, saying the wildest things ever. Oh, it's gonna be funny. Oh, oh it's gonna be hilarious. But um, yeah, guys, look, thanks for making it this far. Like you can actually see how tired I am on my face. I don't know why I'm so tired. Tired. It's old age, man. God forbid. <laughs> um. Anyways, thanks for making this fire. <laughs> Sorry, why do I keep repeating myself? <laughs> and uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Obviously, whatever you think, let us know in the comments. And peace out. Ciao. <laughs>